hey guys welcome back to my channel what's up on doing it's a girl dominique and i'm back with another video but if on a new big up on yourself because i realize that we have a lot of new subbies over here if you're not always watching hey what's up people on really doing comment down below on really doing so your girl is here with this video i've been wanting to make this video um probably about a week and a half now but guess what i don't have a ring light my ring light broke like i have one but part of it broke so it kind of struggling to use it but anyway that vi this video is not about none of that so your girl is here to talk about like what was my experience while in panama so if you want to hear what this video is all about Stay tuned, watch the video, learn all you need to learn because I know after this video, I'm going to book on a trip and that's if you guys not been looking into going to Panama since I posted all my vlogs. So, yeah. So guys, um, I don't know if I've been whining and talking about oh, I miss traveling and all of this stuff. So, I actually um went ahead and did my well i learned about panama i learned about panama um through this girl that yeah i learned about panama like you know i know panama was in existence but i learned like all the information about panama through this girl that's on my snapchat she went to panama about two years ago or so i'm not sure not my space to talk yet so she went to panama before and then um i you know snapped her and say hey what's it like in panama how do i go about traveling to panama what i have a good um nitty gritty information that i need to know about leaving my home country towards going to another country that oh no, no Panama, I don't speak English. So she told me the basics. She told me which airline that um I should use to go to Panama. I'm definitely gonna make a video how to get to Panama. Not going to like those information that will be in that video will not come out in this video. So yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? You gotta stay tuned for that video. So um she told me about the airline that I need to use to go there. Um, she told me about the prices in terms of, um, you know, somewhere to stay and all of that. So she told me that um, she stayed in a hotel. But you know from the other day, the girl been looking into a lot of Airbnb. Yes. So, I mean, that was my first option. Seeing that um, it's three of us and we wanted to go to cheaper way so to go the cheaper way would definitely have to be the airbnb um yeah so and then also you know if you know cook and stuff airbnb yeah all right so i after talking to her that was in last year 2020 about panama and everything um i decided that listen i'm gonna watch a lot of vlogs about panama so I mean, I've been watching, you see people if I'm going to go down my phone, like, but check what the videos that I've been watching before I went to Panama. Most of what you guys have um, seen in my search history would have been Panama vlog, cost of going to Panama, what it's like in Panama, everything have to do with Panama. Everything. And I know you all have been, like, see some people commenting like, I don't want all that stuff in their mouth, that clothes, I'm, a, I'm not exaggerated. People? We went all out in Panama. Well, it's not to say that um, we never planned for this, but we planned for it. We knew that when we left Jamaica, the main reason, oh my God, my earrings stuck it on my chain. The main reason to go to Panama would to be to shop. So it wasn't a coincidence where you see shopping video that are come, 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 come the main reason to go to panama was to shop i have not left jamaica in two years two years like 
now two years stop and you know we revamp and i come again and i go again you know so before i went to panama it was two years before i left jamaica the last time i went to canada was 2019 so i was like i researched and for me my liking of country is to travel to countries where i can shop i can get the first world experience i can do all of that i don't know how people travel to places where you don't find places to shop like no that's not me so i left jamaica um knowing that panama is close to america the closest thing to america to visit when you don't have a visa so um i learned about all the well not all of them because we end up going to a mall that we did not know about until we went over there and went to Applebee's. so anyways going to go, go tracking back to the where i started so um let me see if I'm happy. I'm happy by because I'm going back soon. <laughs> Listen. Anyways, um, so, um, yeah. So after talking to her about Panama and all that in 2020, I said to babe, "Listen, Odiana, I'm I'm going to Panama for the coming um Easter, you know, because I wanted to go in Easter." And when, when, when we think about it, analyze it and everything, I'm like, no, Easter I got too sudden. So, Mr. All right, fine. And we've been talking to Bill and Mr. Dave, we want to go to you know, and XYZ. And he said, I don't know everywhere you see people who have vlogs go, you have go. I'm like, I know everywhere I see people who have vlogs um, go, me want to go, but I want to go to Panama because it's been a while, I'm not travel and I need clothes, I need cow. I can't survive with the clothes that is offered in Jamaica, to be honest. Can't. Like, it's too dear, and if you want something good, it, it just. It, everything come under too dear. So, I look into it and I say, listen again. By the. What I call by the Ipa, the crook, or whatever. Me go in. So, are you coming? Tash, me not coming. Not going to foreign if I'm not working. I said, babe, okay, you're not coming. I'm going. So I, I thought about it and I was like, you know, going by myself. Ooh, I wonder how that's going to go because um, see that I was not staying in an hotel. I was staying in an Airbnb. You know, Airbnb a house, people house. I was like, hmm. And then I went back and I spoke to the girl. I said, what's your thought, Anna? Staying at a hotel and staying at a Airbnb, and she said, "Well, going into a country that you don't know anything about it, and they don't speak your language, I would say go to a hotel. But as I said, more the cheaper we all become, more put more money to shopping and not um, accommodation. So, I said, all right, I said to her, so well, I looked up some um, Airbnb now and them seem to be good prices." And them seem like they can work with, so probably I don't know. And she said, All right, you know, if you think it's okay, can I say, All right, yeah, that me do. So, first, guys, the plan was to stay two weeks, two weeks. But then remember, I'm telling you, I'm here alone, I'm going up. So, I was like, Listen, um, I guess this is like a story time. <laughs> so, I was like, Ugh, Two weeks, me alone, I'm going to one country. But I don't know, but I don't know, but I don't know. So I'm like, you know what? I cut it down, I'm going to say, one week, and then I sit down and I think about it. I'm going to say, you know, so I'm going to say this to mom. I said, mom, what do you think? For your birthday, your birthday coming up, because my mom, the day after we got home, the next day was mom's birthday. So I said, of course, yeah, she'll come, whatever, whatever. I'm going to say, baby, I'll come. I said, no. And then we did it, and we keep on a tap wall it every day, and then I said, Bun, him said, Be here, come. You better come in and he said, all right. You want to think about it and whatever. And then we finally decided to go together. So this was about, I I had the plan, remember said from long time, but from 2020 coming up, they decided to come after. Then mommy come, so that's how the three of us went. So the Panama trip wasn't a, a trip, we just, or we come up, so no. Um, even when I made the sad goodbye the vlog where by the way I was leaving, yeah, and um 
When I hear me, I say, oh my God, I don't know when I'm going. But I'm going plan out and everything already. Everything already. But I'm not going to give away my, my stuff like that. So I'm going to put my information out there like that night. That night. But now I'm going to plan for me before me don't make my plan. You know? Jamaica, I'm going to come from a more people stay. Anyway, so. Anyways, no, I'm going to reach now. Karama and such. Um... From Jamaica going up there, same experience. Only thing I want to advise people should I give this information here or do it for that video? How to go to Panama? Mm -hmm. Leave that part for that video. So, anyways, when we got to the airport and so now I will come out. Um, we I tried to book the Uber XL, no Uber XL not available. I'm like, what? How come so Uber Excel not available? And I said, what really I'm going on? And so, um, it was before we learned, we look cool. style. We said, no Uber Excel, you book correct at Uber. And you, 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 you tell them, say, no Uber Excel, and we jump in and go and see them. Anyhow, um, we decided, all right, no Uber Excel, we're going to get, we're going to call out some of the cameraman. Uber Excel no one of people that charge you thirteen dollar. One cab charge us forty dollars. Uber for so the Uber was charging thirteen dollar for the three away, and the cab charge us forty dollars to go to a location. So we were so kind of not happy about that. So, can I remember now all of the money is supposed to go to the shopping. So we never so happy about that part. But anyways. We took the vehicle because we, when we got to Panama, it was a two, and then when we left um, out in the airport to go outside about two five, almost five o'clock. So we wanted to get to the house because night will come soon, and we're not sure if Panama is like America or Canada when night come down um, late or early. So in Panama, the night come down the same like in Jamaica. So it was getting dark and Panama it rains a lot. So it will trick you with the weather. Like outside look dark and it will look later, but no. So we what got outside we were probably after five yeah or two five. So we end up set the cab. Go to our Airbnb. I think I have a story time coming about that Airbnb too. But it was anyhow kind of nice view. Um and so in the Airbnb and so yeah, we got to the Airbnb and all of that. So after we go to the Airbnb and all of that, no, you know, we are tired, but we had to go get groceries. So we went to get groceries at Super 99. Stay tuned for the, like, how to go to Panama and whatever, whatever. Oh, no, I can't tell you guys to that because yeah. Yeah. So we got groceries at Super 99. But if you're going to Panama, you're going to stay at the Airbnb and you're going to, um, you know, look up cheap supermarket. Super 99 is not your best option. Hmm. Super 99, there. Super 99, there. I will tell you to go to El Machetazo. I'm going to put it and write it up here. So, but all right, people. So, go to that supermarket and I promise you the prices will be better and more variety. Super 99 have a lot of variety, but it was more like, you know, everybody regular supermarket where you know get everything in there. That supermarket there have more option to me, to we. All right, so, so we went to that supermarket after, as Mr. went to Super 1999 the first night, and then after no, we found out that it was not the best choice. So after we went to supermarket, supermarket that night, no, we, um, so, um, the next day now was the first day of shopping. The next day was mall day. So, mall day now, mall day now, the first mall that we went to was Multi Plaza Mall. So, I'm going to list all the malls that we went to plus other malls that we can go to. So, went to Multi Plaza Mall now. Um, review on Multi Plaza Mall. Multi Plaza Mall is if you're going to... Um, well, they have Old Navy coming and H&M coming and Farber 21 is there. We saw the sign there 
So we, we, we know, we know this, we know this. And I tell me, I tell you, no, I've got top of my head, we know this. So we saw H&M fan and thing this. But other from that, and Forever 21 is there. Other from that, now, Multiplaza Mall is a mall. If you're going, if you're going and you want to live bougie and rich, and by all of the rich girl stuff, you can go to Multiplaza Mall. Multiplaza Mall have Gucci, Louis V, Jimmy Choo, have, um... Where is her Hermes? I said it's her name. Hermes. Um, they have Versace. They have everything. All of them dear, good up, good up, tour, birch. All of them store, they coach, everything you can think of. Over Multiplaza Mall. And yeah, it's just a nice, pretty mall where you can walk out and look. Hopefully, when HM and Old Navy come there, you have like a little more, you know, vibe for the people that want to shop on a budget like me. Uh, we got a few, a few like a nice things there as well too. Um, yeah, so that's it for Multiplaza Mall. So that's one of the malls that you guys can go to. Not saying it's a mall you exclude. Don't exclude it all because remember, we say I still can find nice things there because I got nice um, Tommy Hilfiger slides there. Um, me and mom and all of them something there. They have PLS, them have, them have everything. So it's not a mall where you got exclude me now. So it's a rich people mall, nice mall, but it's just the mall where you find all the nice bougie stuff them and all of that. All right, so we got here now. Um, also too, they have the, um, they also, they have in Panama, McDonald's. McDonald's is one of our favorite stuff that we've been missing for some time now. We love McDonald's, Burger King, no what close to McDonald's for we. The only problem in Panama though, people, them food salt, them food salt, them food salt. Them food salt, if you have the pressure, you go up and you may come home with pressure. Me not tell a lie. I see people say them food tastes good. Me not sell them, me not batch them food. But I think they have a little bit of too much edge from the salt. We went to KFC, KFC salt. My thoughts all over the place with Fago. <laughs> we went to KFC, KFC, the fresh is salt, the chicken is salt. Only thing we got that was not salt in Panama was Domino's pizza. And we kind of did attach to it because it never salt. And also, Subway never salt either. We got McDonald's, McDonald's, the fries, they salt. The fr we love McDonald's. And to be honest, only one time we went to McDonald's because the fries did salt. And we love McDonald's. We went to Applebee's. Applebee's, some of the food did salt. No man. We went to this Chinese the food salt. Taco Bell, the something salt. Everything salt. Oh, yes, Burger King, Bur I think we went to Burger King. It never so salt. At the price, it looked bit salt, but never so bad. Um, yeah. And the burger, the burger, the, re the, the refreshing and nice. With that though, with that being said though, we get to the next point. Them have all of the restaurants. Them all of the restaurants only can think about. Um, only thing they don't have any red lobster. Oh my god, we wanted to go to red lobster so bad, but they did not have um, any red lobster. They don't have any red lobster, so that's how we end up at Applebee's. And they have a tons of other restaurants that you guys can go to um, there. But we went to Applebee's because we know Applebee's serve American food. We never want to go somewhere where we don't like the Panamanian food because of the salt where we don't run from. So that's how we end up going to Applebee's. Um, sorry, yeah. So, another mall they have there is Albrook Mall. Albrook Mall is the vlog where you guys saw me shopping crazy. Did we shop? Yes. Albrook Mall is where you have the cheap, reliable prices, the good girl, good man prices. The stores that will eat you at Albrook Mall, El Casco, Conway, Madison. It's them tree store there, them tree store there. Them supposed to spend a whole pound money in a um, El Casco um, and Madison and Titan. Conway, we bought a few stuff. Can go on, never saw, I would never too love the quality in a Conway. Would never too love the quality in a El Casco down at Albrook Mall, but the El Casco over Mega Mall. Would go all out 
when we see the clothes them the quality start come together we say nope we can't leave this so yeah we also went to alta plaza mall alta plaza mall is one of the next bougie mall like a few look expensive store the only store there that um grabbed my attention was forever 21 um because when i went there too at alta plaza mall, well when i went to panama forever 21 had this a sale 60 percent off sale going from july to august so I purchased a lot of things over Alta Plaza in the same Forever 21 there. I mean, most of my clothes in my care room is Forever 21. I know you guys been asking for the all, but I cannot just carry all well, of my clothes on my wife. I'm showing her like that. I don't want nobody to pick my clothes. Say, okay, no. I don't know. No. No. Me, I'm not going to make that vlog with the all, with all, but no, I'm sorry. If I'm in a video and I'm recording, I can say I got this at XYZ. Like I got these nice matching jewelries um, at Albert Mall. Anchor matches the anchor on my earring. And Babe got this matching chain too as well. So we got matching chains. Um, yeah. With, yeah, what else? Alta Plaza Mall. I we went to Metro Mall. There is when I came home, I learned about um, we learned about some other malls, but some of them were kind of far out of reach. We never bother with it. Um, when I came home, some persons were commenting saying we sh I should go to Town Center Mall, I guess that is more down in the downtown city area. Mm, hopefully, yeah, I'm not sure, but um, definitely, as I said, I'm going back. I'm going back. We fell in love with Panama, so we're going back soon. Um, hopefully, yeah. And then uh, we never got to get to the other mall, no, because those four malls they were in right day thing there, yeah. So, um, one thing I want to advise you people to tell you when you go to Panama, do not take cabs, the cabs is not budget friendly. Uber is more budget friendly. So for two of us, say for two of us leaving our central location that we were very central to go to say a multi-plaza mall for two of us, it was like $4. If it's three of us, like $7. That's not bad because we are going to share the price between the three of us. So if we are paying like say $7 something for the, the three away, you know, that's like $2 something for each away. So Uber is very budget friendly over there. When we say budget, we mean cheap, cheap, bad. Make sure Uber is in the first choice of taxi to go around. And I don't know, when I drive in a luxury Uber, nice with all our Ubers were very clean and luxurious. I'm not gonna lie, they were nice. Um, and I found the, the little character from Metro Man. And it was a little buggy and the lady just woke up under the series. <laughs> and she always woke up with a one million bag. Oh my god. That was the only little small car that we got because it was we had to book our regular Uber and not a Uber Excel because that never available. Yeah. Um what else? What else we need to tell now? About Panama. The language no. Let's jump to the language and to remember something else. The language um know the basics i must say don't go with your mind empty although if you have the phone that helps a lot and that it helps you out a lot too but know the basics out of the three of us odin was the perfectionist with spanish so we give odin a round of applause odin knew the spanish good like him no know everything him no perfect like how may i make it sound but he was the best translator that we had and he was good with it and this came about from his work and travel experience that um you work around a lot of spanish people you get to know a lot of stuff me not really take it in hand so me just got through like it was nothing on my work and travel experience then when me go on um so yeah for me though i knew like the basics so for instance i mean today i like say for today the first thing women probably are going to say in Spanish is Mr. Somebody. Buenos dias, buenos tardes, buenos noches. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Um, 
going into a taxi i'm going to say um let's see yes, poquito espanol um english if, if it's a miss it's a woman so i can say buenos dias senorita or it's a man buenos dias senor um if you want to call them beautiful buenos dias bonita you know what woman i call her beautiful so you guys say buenos dias senorita um poquito espanol um english um they're going to say si or no and uh, if them speak it that's that i will meet up when people speak it i think panama needs more people that speak english because the country is so widespread of its first world living need more people to speak english to say a lot of tourists come there yep so yeah we knew that basic also um going to panama you want to know how to ask the price of something quanto cuesta so you say quanto like how much say what you say how much is this quanto cuesta right so how much is this or how much is for that so quanto cuesta you want to know what is clothes clothes is ropa um shoes is zapatos the, the, the so you know if you don't know how to ask how to change me got in a titan and i wanted to try on something and i saw this i thought the senorita um ropa i'm a gusto but she knew her i have a pants i have a shake on me and she could have understand i miss and she said no or yes or whatever um they like to say when they're saying good night or you know they they, they always say buenas so like you know let like them say good like you know them just say good what else do I know to say in Spanish? Um, que hora he says what's the time? Um, we never have to ask nobody what time or not about time or clothes or nothing. Um, I don't remember. We had to know. Oh, what is um character? Character is um card. Is card cash is effectible. So when you go to the supermarket, they'll ask if you're paying cash or card. So you just want to listen if they must say um tarikta or um or um effectible. So you want what's your cash or this up now? Yes, they must cash or and you hear tarikta or effectible. Is it your response that you have to hear tarikta or you say si tarikta si um effectible and you are saying excuse me excuse me is permiso so um permiso so you just it is somebody near you just say say no permiso um you know if you say sorry you know if you say sorry uh, yeah, but no no but i don't think you say sorry i come to one lady one time and me, 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 all me i try to remember the spanish word to say sorry then me realize that i don't know if it's in, a, in a spanish i'm like I'm sorry, I'm realizing that the woman I looked at when she had come out and she was a white man and me is a black girl and she up on me and I look up in her bag and she probably said, the girl later try to rob me and I try to get on my bag and become a sister and I know she didn't understand me and I was like, okay, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, so, thank you is gracias. Yeah. I think that was it. And other and from that, you'll get you basically, you'll meet up for one and two people that speak um, Spanish and English also like if you're ordering a food you know you want to ask them um like if they're going to say so you're going to order food it's basic buenos dias buenos tardes um you're out, yes you, you look up there and you want which number and you say uno dos tres cuatro cinco you just tell them the number okay and sometimes them have to do some things and they make you have to just challenge the world situation can you know nothing yeah honestly <laughs> so yeah what else the experience in the shop shopping guys you can go to panama and shop till you drop till you can't drop no more till you probably last in the world when i go drop you know it's a place for shopping also you guys probably hear about panama canal um casco viejo and you're wondering how comes we did not go to those places it's because we did not had enough time to go because uh, as me say shopping was our main party so 
we never have enough time and we have got if, if you guys are experienced by going when you go to a mall or the north say you go go especially you go for shop you have to go in a store and buy your walk to and your purchase and if you now purchase and you go and you know the place it's at the whole day so my mom used to complain and say listen if we don't go to the mall tomorrow i'm not coming in you know? My mother said that every day and my mother come every single time except one Sunday we left her. The Sunday that we the Sunday we leave her. So she never um she never come from the room this Sunday. Mommy said, Oh, we went to um the supermarket in the morning, but in the evening we went to Alpha Plaza Mall and mommy said, She no come, we shall sleep. When we go to the mall, first and foremost, me had a the problem. Them said them not gonna away with me again because me have a shopping issue so i'm going to the store them say all right and it's a good price and then here we start smiling then say okay if they now buy now you only hear mommy say grizzle come make go well i see because she now come out no <laughs> honestly so we never got to panama canal we met this awesome uber driver who was also a tour guide he gave us basic information on panama um he gave us information on the canal he gave us like how far it would have been out um we he gave us also that um information where we were passing to casco viejo in the night and he said this is old panama casco viejo and whatever whatever we just passed through while coming from um multi plaza mall and um that was just the general and when we went downtown too as well we passed back through casco so i was like okay we never see the need for it and i know i should have vlogged it but for sure whatever i return life spare i'll do that mommy really wanted to go to the canal just never make it down there so probably next time and yeah yeah what else do i need to say the people there are we did not, I did not experience any bad customer service. I did not experience any bad customer service. The people there were friendly, they were okay. Even though sometimes we never understand what I must say, which was probably, that was like, that was probably like a 50-50. We understand most of the time. As Mr. Odien know, a lot of the Spanish show, you know, came back to him a lot. Um, while people were speaking a lot came back to him and he understood them um and he was able to respond and uh, we put on phone service so everything everyone never understand nothing and really and truly most of the time we could have put in our phone but because we want to, we wanted to challenge ourselves learn more and all of that we tried to use what we knew to get our own so yeah that's it i can't Going to Panama, I would say, was a good idea. I give Panama 8 out of 10 because I think more persons need to learn the Spanish. That's the only reason why I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, to be honest. The journey there was good, no problem through customs. Getting out um, on the street was fine. Did not see anywhere I look like, so would afraid, although we never walk around on at all. But it has everything. McDonald's to Subway to Burger King to Domino's to Pizza Hut to KFC to everything. Just everything. Shopping wise, Old Navy is coming there soon because we saw the sign H&M is coming there soon. It already has Forever 21. It has El Casco Cheap Mall. It has Crocs, Payless, some Wallipa store where we don't know the name them but the price them just nice and just make up. Huh? Yeah, I said that and there's a lot of malls there that we did not went to. The experience just turn up people. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to tell. Nothing else. Downtown, we didn't get to go and walk downtown. But passing through downtown, we got a drive. Let me see. We got a, like a scenery of the tall buildings and that makes us some tall building down there tall, tall building that reminded me that i was like i was down in toronto 
driving near Ponder Road. Like you guys know Toronto driving on the bypass highway to like the Valley from Ajax to go Brampton or wherever you pass downtown that side, whatever. You see the build the, the high building and the same tower and nice things something near to the nice place to go, Panama. So guys <laughs> If I remember anything that I left out when um in this video, I'm going to itch it on the video on what you need to know and how to get to Panama video. So I'll definitely be making that video. This video is so long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until then, it's the girl Dominique. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.